This tutorial will cover the basic steps of how to open and comment on a VoiceThread. In Blackboard, VoiceThread is identified with the icon VT. Along with that is a link. If you click on this link, VoiceThread will open a new window in your browser. It will take you directly to the VoiceThread presentation uh, involved. Hi, I'm in this case, um, Suzanne has made uh, a voice thread with video comments, and those video comments will launch automatically. Let me show you some basics here. Up here is the title, and we know here that we have seven slides automatically. On the right side here will be your name, and you can X out of this if necessary. You can make an image larger with the plus sign, or you can make it smaller. You can advance through the voice thread with this forward advance icon here. We know how long the commenting is uh, here by the time and we can see with this bar that there are multiple comments. You can access the comments by clicking along this bar or by clicking along the left hand um, uh, side menu here. For everyone who leaves a comment, a uh, thumbnail icon will appear here. Some might have an image uh, if that's loaded up, or some might just have initials. So you'll always know who is commenting. Now, if you want to leave a comment, you find that in the lower uh, middle of the screen. It's a comment bubble here. You click on that, and then these are all the methods for commenting in VoiceThread. The most common are text, audio, and video. If you use audio and video, you get a countdown, you record, and then VoiceThread plays it back to you and you can decide if you want to keep it or try again. If I want to do text, I click on text and I type in a comment. And when I save that, my comment is added to this left-hand margin here. Anything in VoiceThread can be edited or deleted. So for example, I could edit this comment if I wanted to change it, or I could delete it and type again. I can make the font smaller or larger, and I can expand this window. So those are some of the basics. When you are done with your VoiceThread comment, you can um, click the X to get out of it, you can click the X on your browser tab window, or you can simply go back to the tab that has Blackboard. Good luck!